Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have the Beloved Stitch Fix. Now this is my first video posting since Christmas. Hopefully you guys all are enjoying the holidays or having a wonderful holiday. I probably won't get this posted until after New Year's. So hopefully you all had a wonderful holiday. We had a great time just hanging out around the house. Just eating, playing games, watching movies. Uh, we've been in a uh, walking slash hiking hobby, so we like to do long walks and stuff like that and hikes. So I think the day after Christmas, we went on a eight mile hike. So um, it was nice and relaxing for us. So hopefully you guys had a wonderful Christmas and enjoyed the holidays and um, yeah, okay. so. Uh, stitch fix. So I asked for, and this thing took much longer to get here than I expected. I think it hung out in a post office for a long time, like many of my packages did. And so um, I asked for festive things because I was feeling Christmassy and wanted, you know, festive holiday type pieces. So that is what I have here. If you're not familiar with Stitch Fix, it is a style service where a stylist picks out five items and sends to you based off of a style survey and your Pinterest and whatever notes you put in. Um, they, you only, you keep what you like, send back what you don't like, they only charge you for what you keep. There's a $20 styling service fee that does get applied to anything you purchase. And if you buy all five pieces, you get 25% off, which a couple stitch fixes ago, I did get a five for five. So let's put a card up for that one because it was awesome. Um, so, uh, and oh, and I do have a refer link if you want to try it for yourself. You get $25 off your first box. I get $25 myself. So that is awesome. Okay, so here we go. Let's pull out the bundle. Okay, so there you go. I don't know what this big thing is, but I'm very intrigued. Okay, first up, we have a cardigan, kind of a, a white or cream color with black flecks in it. It's got this um, little strappy thingies, little details there. Other than that, I think it's pretty much a straight down cardigan, which I really like. This is by Fortune and Ivy. So I really like this cardigan. It's a nice, thick cardigan. And I am very intrigued. So I'm excited to see what that's like on. Then we have, uh, I don't I want to call it burgundy, but it's actually more deeper purple than that. So a color, a dark color. Uh, this is by Pink Clover and just a knit crew neck sweater. Oh, and it does have the button details here at the side. Most likely, you know, this is kind of a longer length, but I do love a nice kind of chunky knit sweater. In fact, I like that a lot. It's very cozy. All right, next up we have, this is by Renee C. This looks to be a kind of micro suede skirt. Does have a bit of stretch, oh, pencil skirt. A little slit in the back. So I really like the micro suede so we'll see how that fits on. Pencil skirts can be a little bit iffy with me on the fit. This is by 41 Hawthorne. We have this blouse, just this gray button up blouse here. So it's okay. I doubt this would be a keeper for me because I just, I'm not wearing blouses these days. And I, I never really was a big blouse person because I'm, they're just too cold. They're so thin and airy, Oof. thin and airy. Those are my nemesis words. Um, <laughs> so next up we have violets and roses and there is this red number here. So what is this? This is like a dress pant, uh, no pockets front or back. And it's just kind of a red dress pant. So I really like it. I like the looks of it. So. Very interested to see what this is like on. So there we go. So we got some reds, some greens, some sweaters, some 
seasonal pieces. Um, wasn't as flashy as maybe I would have expected from a festive box. I was almost expecting maybe some metallics or glittery or something like that. But honestly, I'm not a big flashy person anyway, so this is probably better off for me. So that's the box. Let's go ahead and try it on. Okay, I have three of the five pieces on. So let's start with the cardigan. And the cardigan's a no for me. I like, it's a really nice cardigan. It's pleasing to the eyes. Uh, it is everything that Jen usually likes in a cardigan. Nice chunkiness. Here's the 360. But overall, it just is not a form-fitting cardigan like I like. There's just kind of this loose bulkiness around it. I feel like it envelops me a little bit. So, plus it doesn't have pockets. It's always so disappointing, but I probably could have overlooked that if it was a great fit, but I just feel like it's a little bit too loose, a little bit too big for my taste. So, we'll go ahead and take that off. Next up we have the pants, let's go over these. Now, um, there's some things that I really like about it is there's this elastic band in the waistband, so it fits snugly on my waist, but if I eat too many cheeseburgers, it will expand out. So I really like the waistband of it. I really like the high waistedness. It goes almost all the way to my belly button, so I like that. So those are the pro, oh, and I love the color. Really, really love the color. So. Those are the pros. The cons are one, they're too long. So I have one leg here where I kind of left it as is and it's kind of a, just a little bit scrunched at the bottom. I can picture the bottom of the pant kind of slipping into the bottom of my heel and being annoying. Uh, that would not surprise me at all. So I put a double roll on this one because I would have to hem this and most likely it would be about this length if I got them hemmed. Now I have a place to go where I, I can get them suit hemmed for very cheap if I want, but the question is, do I want? And so the other con, besides being too long, is they're very thin. So a little disappointingly thin. So I had to look in front of the mirror and see, like, can you see cellulite? Like how thin are these? And you can't, so that's good. But maybe I would wear these more in the, the redness feels like, you know, wintry festive, but then the thinness means I'd probably wear it more in the summer time. So I'm not quite sure. It might depend on price for these and also what you guys say. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Finally, the blouse. Okay, so the blouse is a little strange. I don't know if it's a petite, so I'll look at that when we do prices at the end because the sleeve length is kind of perfect I guess is almost borderline a little bit shorter than I'd want because for some reason when I lift my arm up this this bothers me this is not usually a problem with me but when I wear it straight you know it's perfect so it'll be interesting to see if it's a petite I also do feel like the shoulders are a little bit wide so it was either meant to be slightly wider slightly oversized or it's not a petite and you know it's just non petites are always a little bit big on me. So I don't know, it's, it's kind of strange. It's not tab sleeve, so the kind of awkward sleeve length I would be stuck with. Um, all right, so 360 on all of this. There we go, let's go to our next outfit. Okay, so last two pieces, I would not pair these together, but you know, for the sake of expediency. So the skirt, so the skirt I live. I really, I love a great fitting pencil skirt. It's just a pull on, but the waist is not too big. The bum is not too tight. It's just, it's, and it's super soft and it feels good and stretchy. So there it is. Really, really like this skirt here. So the sweater here, a great kind of casual, chunky knit sweater. I do like it, you know, it looks cute being kind of tucked into something. And then if I pull it out, you know, it's kind of a tunicky, again, with the buttons here on the side. So this, this sweater obviously has much more of a, a casual vibe to me, 
Um, but I like it. I like the color. I like the warmth. I, I could see myself reaching for something like this on a day where it's just like, I want to be comfy. I'm cold and I want to be warm. And sweaters like these get, they get reached for it. That's for sure. So again, probably dependent on price because it's, though I really, though I do like it, I don't know that I'm just like super, super excited. I think the skirt's the only piece that it's like, yay. So, okay. Let's go over prices and decide what to keep. Alrighty guys, starting at the top here, we have by Pink Clover. This is the Brin Side Button Detail Pullover, $46. I was actually surprised that this is as affordable as it is. And you know, a great cozy, to me this is less of a festive piece and more of just like a great cozy piece. So leaning towards keeping that one. Then we have by Violets and Roses, the Violet Solid Slim Straight Trouser, $58. Really like the waistband on it, like the color of these, but I would have to hem them and they are quite thin, which I am not excited about. So I'm leaning towards not keeping just because they have a couple of demerits against it, but I don't remember if I said the price, so $58. Then we have by 41 Hawthorne, the Deborah Lee button down blouse, and this is $68. This is actually the most expensive piece, which is kind of strange to me. It is a petite, so extra small petite, and that explains kind of the sleeve length, and I just, blouses like this are not my jam, so I'm not gonna keep that. Then we have by Fortune and Ivy, the Raiden Tab Detail Cardigan, $50. And it just was, I love the cardigan, love the looks of it. You know, love the, you know, the dark color throughout the light. Really like everything about it except for the fit. So, but the fit disqualifies it. Then finally we have by Renee C. This is the Stasi Faux Suede Pencil Skirt. $48, this is a definite keeper for me. It was really, really great fit for a pencil skirt. It's very soft, it feels good, it's cute, perfect. So, keeper there. So the total for the entire box is $270. If I bought all five, that would take off $67.50 and bring me to a subtotal of $202.50. Now, I do have a little bit of credit that arrived after they sent this, so I might use that on the skirt and the sweater, but I would love, love, love to get your guys' opinions. I should hopefully get this up before I send back these pieces. So let me know what you think. I value you guys' opinions. You definitely always help me make a decision and I'm grateful for you. So thank you. All right, well that's it. That's the video, that's my stitch fix. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, then please subscribe below and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.